Brick making started in Pulla about 200 years ago and uh, the main reason it started was the suitability of the clay and the bog, the turf, to burn the bricks. Without the canal, there would be no bricks because of the fact that there was no roads or no means of transport and they were very heavy and there was no means of transporting them out of the, out of the area at that time. But when the canal arrived, the brick making industry increased rapidly. There is a vein of clay along the Brustle Valley, I call it, from Ferban to Rahan. Right, it stretches right up near Tullamore. And uh, the clay is located about two feet or maybe three feet down from the surface. I've dug for about two feet and then you just scrape all the, the muck away and then you hit the clay. They dug, what, three feet by three feet and uh, it's pretty tough going. Uh, the guys back then definitely were a bit tougher than I am. And they were at this all year round, then they went into the turf, which was no easy thing either. Then back to the clay, and it just went on and on and on. So we're here with the clay that I dug down in the field. Uh, my neighbour Noel, my dad Mick, they have a lot more experience than I do with making bricks. I did all the hard work, so they're going to take over now with the actual brick making. Put in the clay and two off bearers or three dead, usually young, young children, 12, 13 years of age, boys and girls, they pulled off the brick and that was a skilled exercise as well, off the table. And when you pulled off the brick, you turned it down at a right angle and it, it stayed in the, in the mould until you went out. You carried it out then and it was put, put down on a prepared surface. There was no employment around here, and mostly the brick making was done by a family unit and uh, maybe a couple of friends. The, they built a kiln to burn the brick. They produced the bricks by a, with a team of about 12. Exercise each day would be uh, 5,000 bricks, and that would be a day's work. And it started normally at 6 o'clock in the morning, and they were finished around 1 or 2 in the day. That was very, very hard work because of the fact that everything was very heavy. They loaded up the bricks and I think 40 tonnes was the average load of a brick. And they started off with the horse. One horse would pull the water, we wouldn't be travelling that very fast. We'd say if we're going to Dublin, he went on the right hand side all the way up. And the tracks of the ropes are in the bridge still. When the, when the brick making industry started, uh, it gave people a, a living, do you know, that's the, the thing, and, and, and they had something to work for, and they had a small earnings, but the, no one made m huge money out of the brick making at all because it was, it was, they were so poorly paid. <laughs> 